good day to you. My name is Maria Konjelska and this is Perlan Daily Culture. And today we talk about books and literature because with us in the studio is Marcel Wojciech, an author and a biographist of Leopold Thurman. Marcel, we have back uh, in the studio behind us the beautiful book A Man with Wide Eyes, uh, Thurman. This is your second book about him. You wrote and you wrote the main biography also uh, about Thurman. What I actually found so fascinating about this author? Because we have to say you were actually a person who did this huge, huge amount of work of collecting letters, photos, uh, actually getting the real story because there were legends and myths and jokes about Turban and everyone knew about his colorful socks but not many actually knew the true story and you were able to collect those from I would say three different continents to meet with a, a lot of people who take uh, who actually are still alive uh, free of his wives uh, and uh, to to get from them this the real story uh, why well, how did you have all this energy to do it? I hadn't had a chance to meet the first wife. And actually, I didn't know about her story now. I think she, she, she had lived somewhere in Switzerland, I guess. But yeah, uh, how did I got so fascinated? Um, well, first of all, I think he's just, he was a so colorful person, so vivid persona that the, when one of my professors uh, suggested that I can dig, like try to find something about the, the man with white eyes, the, his, his famous, uh, famous novel, and I could write a piece about this, this book, I said, well, I'm not sure who Thurman is actually. Uh, but after lecture, I was fascinated and I decided to find everything I can find, but it was like, 15 years ago, uh, it was before Facebook actually. Uh, but yeah, I think my professor knew that there is a lot to say about Thurman, especially there is there is a, a gap in the in the history of Polish literature. Because we have to, to say that uh, he was sort of oh, well covered or hidden or censorship yeah. by the communists, so he was definitely not in the school book. Yeah, he was just a, he, he had just evaporated from Polish culture. And there were only legends left after him, only myths and legends. And now, right, right now, back in the free Poland, when we have this freedom of talking about whatever we want to talk about, uh, so we had this opportunity actually to come back to his literature, uh, which uh, back in time, and you did it uh, sort of putting all things together, uh, looking at the and the, in the perspective of this. Of, at this author, uh, but his most famous novel is, of course, *The Zwe*. So the a man with mm -hmm. white eyes. Uh, right now, uh, what do you think about this book right now, and how you look at it? Tell us, I mean, the plot of this book in a nutshell. So the *Zwe*. So so li it literally means the the bad guy, right? His that's his nickname made by the crowd, like people named him the bad guy, but actually he's a good guy, like in the best novels. So uh, the man with white eyes is after the color of his eyes because he was like, in a, like a, man in a man man in a mask, like a Zorro. And actually that was the first inspiration. The man with white eyes is a kind of a, a, a young blood rookie who is uh, at the first appearance we think he's a bad guy, but uh, it turns out he's actually a hero trying to rescue people so this is this, this classical superhero Correct. story, like a yeah. Batman or a, a Zorro or a Deadpool. So it was like a, a Warsaw man. <laughs> but in Warsaw <laughs> and the story about the city as well and done in 50s. Correct. So in the moment when everyone here was so like filled with propaganda and with this fake language of talking uh, with everything, with in every word you hide this element of politics and then suddenly this fresh book with no politics in it. Yeah, so that was the, that's why this book had a huge impact, a magnitude on the market, but uh, not, I mean, not in terms of, of um, publishing and selling, it, it basically, it's, it just went straight through the hearts of people and uh, people just love this, this book from the, from the very first time. There is even a legend that like, it's hard to explain what is that like uh, to stay in the line, right? Like in the shop, 
but in Poland it's kind of a state of your mind to stay in a line because you have to wait after everything in commun under communism. So Tiermant in uh, early 1956 was like, he showed there is some line, some QQ wait, of people waiting in, for something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he said, so what can we get here? Because you, you never know what's in the shop now, because shops were usually empty. And they said there is a, a book called The Man with White Eyes. And we wanted to get get a copy of that, and he was like, "Wow, amazing!" Yeah, so this is a uh, superhero story with so many things going underground, like a language, this under propaganda style, under uh, uh, anti communism style, and that's how Tiermann and his book uh, became legends. And what is left for us, the viewers of Berlin Daily, is of course to encourage all of you to read The Man with the White Eyes because it is translated to English. And uh, of course, you can read it also in Polish. And we keep the fingers crossed that the book or maybe a video game will, uh, will be made. Uh, will be made on based on this book and we can all enjoy it on the screen. And thank you for watching our show.